Good morning, welcome to this morning's meditation space on this beautiful new day. I hope you're all, oh morning Nick, I hope you're all feeling rested wherever you are tuning in from. Um, I'm going to share a few things today and we'll do some meditation. So I'm just going to open this. Guide for the Advanced Soul. This is a quote by Gita Balin and it says, there are always risks in freedom. The only risk in bondage is that of breaking free. That's beautiful. So, and I'm going to do a little reading for us this morning. Actually, I might use these because I want to very cold here this morning, just to put the heater on. <laughs> so I'm picking a Buddha card from the Osho um, Buddha deck. Apparently these are quite unusual. So, what's that one? They all have a picture of a Buddha on them. He who wishes to awake consumes his desires joyfully. The intelligent person lives joyfully, contentedly, whatsoever situation he is in, whatsoever he has, he lives joyfully, thankfully and gratefully. His joy is not dependent on anything, on any outer cause. His joy is his inner understanding. The understanding that from the outside one has never achieved joy. That from desires one has always come to tears. Seeing this nature of desire, his desire has disappeared. And to live without desire is to live in contentment. It is to live without hankering for more then whatsoever is, is more than enough. Either you live in desire or you live in gratitude. Remember this, the man who lives in desire cannot be grateful. He can only be complaining and complaining. He will always have some grudge against existence. But the man who has no desire has only gratitude. Even that which is given to him is more than he ever deserved. So beautiful. I don't know if I've got a bit of a funny connection this morning. <laughs> I'm going to pick another one. I might pick three of these for us actually this morning. I've not read them for a while so let's see what else comes up. Maybe a few more people will join us. And if anybody wants to share this video, if you, sh you could share it now and it will reach more people, which would be lovely. So this is the next card. Just another Buddha. The fool sleeps as if he were already dead, but the master is awake and he lives forever. He watches, he is clear. The only thing that has to be learned is watchfulness. Watch, watch every act you do, watch every thought that passes your mind, 
Watch every desire that takes possession of you. Watch even small gestures, walking, talking, eating, taking a bath. Go on watching everything. Let everything become an opportunity to watch. And then you watch. A clarity arises. Why does, it, why does clarity arise out of watchfulness? Because the more watchful you become, the more your hastiness slows down. You become more graceful. As you watch, your chattering mind chatters less because the energy that was becoming chattering is turning, turning and becoming watchfulness. It is the same energy. And then we have the last one. In this world, hate never dispels hate. Only love dispels hate. This is the law, ancient and inexhaustible. Only light can dispel darkness. Love is light, the light of your being, and hate is the darkness of your being. How is the light brought in? Become silent, thoughtless, conscious, alert, awake, aware. This is how light is brought in. And the moment you are alert, aware, hate will not be found. These are experiments to be done, not just words to be understood, experiments to be done. Try to hate somebody consciously and you will find it impossible. Either consciousness disappears, then you can hate, or if you are conscious, hate disappears. They can't exist together. Light and darkness cannot exist together because darkness is nothing but the absence of light. practice of meditation is is about learning to be the witness the watcher of everything and meditation ceases to become a practice it just becomes a natural state of being and the purpose of meditation is not to slow down the thoughts or get rid of the thoughts just to completely clear the mind and bring the mind into its natural state which is emptiness Right, I'll pick one from the Osho Zen Tarot now for us all this morning and for anybody who tunes into this at any point because um, I'm now putting all these videos onto my YouTube channel so there's um, over 80 videos now that I've uploaded <laughs> my YouTube channel And there'll be a lot more. The card we have is the source. <laughs> I've not actually seen this one before, which is amazing. So, I wonder where it is.
just maybe say hi to each other while I'm just trying to find this one. Not so easy to find. It's a bit like a metaphor, this. If we don't know where to look, things are not easy to find. And sometimes they're in the most obvious place. So the card that I've just picked for us all is the source, and it's from the Osho Zen Tarot. When we speak of being grounded or centred, it is this source we are talking about. When we begin a creative project, it is this source that we tune into. Morning at Eek. This card reminds us that there is a vast reservoir of energy available to us. Atik, can you share this? Because I'd love to share it live. It'd be lovely to have a few more people join us this morning. When we begin a creative project, it is the source that we tune into. This card reminds us that there is a vast reservoir of energy available to us. And that we tap into it, not by thinking and planning, but by getting grounded, centred and silent enough to be in contact with the source. It is within each of us. Like a personal individual sun giving us life and nourishment. Pure energy pulsating, available. It is ready to give us anything we need to accomplish something. And ready to welcome us back home when we want to rest. So whether you are beginning something new and need inspiration right now, or you've just finished something and want to rest, go to the source. It's always waiting for you, and you don't have to step out of your house to find it. Morning, AD. The source. Zen asks you to come out of the head and go into the basic source. It is not that Zen is not aware of the uses of energy in your head, but it is all the energy is but if all the energy is used in the head, you will never become aware of your eternity. You will never know an, as an experience what it is to be one with the whole. When the energy is just at the centre pulsating, when it is not moving anywhere, neither in the head nor in the heart, but at the very source from where the heart takes it, the head takes it, pulsating at the very source, that is the very meaning of Zazen. Zazen means just sitting at the very source, not moving anywhere. A tremendous force arises, a transformation of energy into light and love, into greater life, into compassion, into creativity. It can take many forms, but first you have to learn how to be at the source. Then the source will decide where your potential is. You can relax at the source and it will take you to your very potential. Beautiful. That's this morning's Osho Zen tarot card. So, good morning everybody, and thank you for giving yourselves this space this morning and joining me to welcome in this blessed new day. Thank you so much everyone for sharing this this morning. Let's now tune in to our bodies and our breath and do a little body scan and bringing our attention to our feet. Just feel wherever your feet are right now 
resting on a cushion on the floor on the bed or neither of those things <laughs> just become aware of your feet and becoming aware of the breath Breathing is happening easily, gently. As we become aware of the breath, we bring ourselves into a state of watchfulness, a state of awareness, of watching the body and its processes. The breath is fundamental to life. It's our connection with our body. It's our connection. The breath is the bridge to God. The bridge between body and God. All that is, is our breath. So, bringing your attention to the breath. We're just going to do a few minutes meditation and breathing exercises for anybody that's just joining us now. So, bringing your awareness to your feet. Feeling grounded, rooted. In the space that you're in. Whether you're sitting down, lying down. Or watching this while you're doing something else. Just feet grounded, rooted earth. Now we're going to bring our attention to our solar plexus, stomach, um, often our emotional centre, because really we feel our emotions in our belly in this area. So take your attention to your stomach now, to your, your um, solar plexus. And just feel, be aware of what's happening as you breathe. In and out through the nose. The breath softening, the body softening. Feel the connection between your breath, your body, your hands. And as you stay focused on the breath, begin to notice the energy arising within your body, the vibration, 
to life, force that's pulsating through you each breath. As you tune into this sacred breath, notice it with the in breath, everything is moving inward. With the in breath, you're literally breathing in the entire universe. With the out breath, an expansion is happening, not only of the breath, but of your energy field, of your connection. Breathing in. Breathing everything in. Breathing out. Allowing the expansion of your energy to move outwards. Notice that with this awareness of the breath, It begins to become less easy for you to define where you are. Where you are ending and where you are beginning. The only sensation is that you are the breath. The breath is life itself. The breath is breathing form in consciousness, into consciousness. Just begin to feel <clears throat> now with your hands in front, gently in front of your solar plexus. And just play with the energy. Notice that it's all around you. As the breath moves out and in, you 
you are expanding and contracting with the universe. Notice how bringing your awareness to the breath deepens the breath. Just by simply becoming aware of it, breathing is deepening, connection is deepening. Body, mind, spirit. All one. The breath becomes the central focus point of consciousness. From which everything is expanding. Consciousness in the body is expanding through the breath. And the more you bring your attention to the breath, the less definable you are. The body is felt, but a very subtle, very, very subtle feeling. An awareness of body, but also a seeing that we're not limited to our body. An awareness of space is arising within us, around us. And we see that we are that space, we are connected, infinitely connected to that space. That space being pure presence, pure awareness, pure consciousness, pure beingness. reality as we breathe the truth that this is all there is becomes very apparent very clear.
and we are totally in the present. The breath is in the present, moment to moment of now. Everything is arising. From this place. From here. Maybe now there's a little smile appearing on your lips. A smile within your own being. A knowing. Knowing that this is it. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes if you haven't already and just allow the light in gently, softly, look around you, stretch if you need to. Staying connected to the body. Much love, many blessings for a beautiful 
unfoldment of now. Be with the peace that you are today. Be gentle with yourself and those around you. And remember, this is it. Om Shanti 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 Namaste